we're going to do more applications with rational expressions. In this case, we're going to look at work problems. And I'm going to say work problems, too, because these uh, problems have an additional uh, complication. Okay, Let's take the problem that we're going to be looking at. We have two people, Walt and Ma Max. Power. While his son Max can mow the same lawn in 50 minutes. One day Max started mowing the lawn by himself and worked for 30 minutes. Then Walt joined him and they finished the lawn. How long did it take them to finish mowing the lawn after Walt started to help? So the complication here it comes to helping. Just as with the other um, work problems that you might have done, um, my recommendation is that you do a So let's fill this uh, table. We have that Walt can mow a lawn in one hour, and Max can do the lawn in 50 minutes. We want to have the same units of time as does the job in 60 minutes. Max does the job in 50 minutes. If it takes Walt 60 minutes to do the job, his rate is going to be 1 60th. He'll do 1 60th of the job in one minute. So the rate in this case is in terms of minutes, and that's important. Max can do the job uh, in 50 minutes, so his rate in one minute. Complication here, and that is that Max starts to do the lawn by himself, and he works 30 minutes. Okay? So, Max in 30 minutes. Okay. Notice that Max's rate is 150 minutes times 150th. Well, multiplying fractions, we have 30 fiftieths, and when we simplify, we end up with 3 fifths. So the part of the job done by Max is 3 fifths of the job. The part that's left so the part left to do and three fifths, what's left to do is two fifths of the job. Say that together it takes them X minutes to finish the job. So let's say X minutes. Uh, again, I, it's important to write down what the variable stands for. In this particular case, the x is going to be the time it takes them to do the part that's left. Let x be the number of minutes. Two-fifths of the job. Because that's the part that's left. Okay? Now, if they work together x minutes, Walt's rate is 1 60th, so he will do x Okay, so keep that in mind. Okay. So the part done by Walt plus the part done by max equals the job to do, but in this case we have only two-fifths of the job to do. So that's going to be equal to two-fifths. And that part's very important. So uh, that's one of the differences with this uh, particular problem. Well, when we were filling in the table, we said that max does uh, x sixtieths of the job. So let's go ahead and say x sixtieths. Ma um, I'm sorry, Walt does x sixtieths. Max does x fiftieths of the job. We have our equation, and what we can do is to go ahead and solve for x. Once again, we have fractions, and we're going to be using the lowest common denominator. In this case, you can check this. So we'll multiply 300 by the left-hand side of the equation and 300 by the right-hand side of the equation. On the left, we're going to distribute the 300. So 
times x over 50 equals 300 times 2 fifths. Okay? So let's do that. First of all, we can go ahead and cancel a zero from there. We can say 60 goes into. So we have 5x plus 6x equals the right-hand side, and 5 goes into 36 times, but since we have 300, 5 will go into 360 times. So 60 times 2 is 120. So we have 11. x then is going to be equal to 120 divided by 11. And what is that? Well, when we divide that out and write it in, uh, in terms of fractions, 12 divided by 11 is 1. We have 1 left over. And so we still have uh, 10 left over. So it's 10 and 10 elevenths uh, minutes. Always watch and see if it makes sense uh, to, to, uh, for the problem that you have. Notice that the problem originally said that it takes um, all one hour to do the job, while max takes 50 minutes. Now, since we it does make sense to say that it will take them only 10 um, and 11, uh, 10 and 10 uh, 11 minutes to do to finish the job. So check to see if your answer is reasonable.